Today, I wanna to show you how you can insert a watermark into a Microsoft Word document. Maybe you have a secret recipe that you wanna make sure no one shares. You can throw on a top secret watermark. First, we'll look at how you can insert a preset watermark, and then we'll also look at how you can customize it. All right, let's check this out. Here I am in Microsoft Word, and I have the secret chocolate chip cookie recipe open for the Kevin Cookie Company. This is what turned us into a unicorn or a $1 billion company. Now, I definitely don't want employees at the company to share this out. So I think adding a top secret watermark can help keep it a little bit safer. To insert a watermark up on the top ribbon, click on the option called design. Within design, over on the right-hand side, you'll see an option for watermark. See, it's really easy to insert a watermark. At the top, we have all of the preset categories. There is a set of confidential watermarks, disclaimers, and also urgent. I'll select the one that says confidential. And that inserts a confidential watermark into my document. It's already starting to feel a little bit more official. I'll also go up to insert and I'll insert another page into my document. And here you'll see that the watermark carries over to the second page. That's one thing to keep in mind when you're working on a document. Now, confidential works okay, but I really don't want this recipe getting out. And I trust all of you here on YouTube, but employees at the Kevin Cookie Company? No way. I need some more official text that'll make sure it scares all of them into not sharing this document. I'll go right back up to the top and once again, I'll click on watermark. And down at the bottom, there's the option to customize the watermark. Let's click on that. This opens up a dialog where I can now customize my watermark. I wanna start with a text-based watermark. So I'll go down to the bottom section. Right here, I can choose a language. Here I see a dropdown and I can view all of the different preset watermark options but I can also type in text to customize the watermark. Here I'll type in some text. That looks a lot better. Down below, I can also set the font. I could also set the size. Currently it's set to auto and that'll ensure a best fit. I could also set the color of my watermark. So here I'll go through and we could look at what a few different color options look like. And right next to color, there's also an option called semi-transparent. This will wash out the watermark just a little bit more. So maybe your watermark's a little bit too dark and it interferes with your text. Well, you could set it to semi-transparent. Down at the very bottom, I can also choose the layout. I could have the text go diagonally across my document or I could have it go across horizontally. The text works okay, but I think I might need something just a little bit more serious. So let me try inserting a picture watermark. Right here, I'll select picture watermark, and then I'll select a file on my PC. All right, I think this one's a lot better. I can't imagine anyone would risk sharing this document because that would mean they would no longer get any cookies. Right down here, I could adjust the scale. So I could click on this list, but currently it's set to auto and that'll ensure a best fit. To the right of that, there's a checkbox called wash out. And this is similar to the semi-transparent option down below. When I click on this, it washes out the image a little bit more. And when I uncheck it, you can see the image a little bit better. I think this is gonna work really well. To remove a watermark within this dialog, at the very top, I could simply click on no watermark. Back on the main screen, I could also remove the watermark by going back up to design, watermark, and within this list, down towards the bottom, there's the option to remove the watermark. All right, well, that's how easy it is to insert a watermark and to keep the secret Kevin Cookie Company recipe safe. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to watch more, check out the playlist up above. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.